Right, and speaking of freezing rain with these cold temperatures sticking around for a few more days, what better way to stay warm than with something good to eat? That's why Live at 9 is on location this morning and we are in the kitchen with the chef Reagan Oglesby, owner of Perch 74 Bistro here in Memphis. Good morning, Chef Reagan. What's cooking? Good morning. We are working. Okay, what do you Save have for us today? in the house. Yeah. And keep it warm. What's on the what's so, on the menu? We're doing beef stew today. I've already begun to brown my roast. I have celery, that's a cup of celery. And onion. You want to brown this before you put any liquid in. Make a little spot. And maybe a minute before you're ready to add any liquid, add in your garlic. I do that because garlic only needs about a minute to cook and you don't want to burn it. Mm. It's disgusting when you burn it. So we got that tossed around. Now, a lot of times people will add a little flour. I don't add flour because I add potatoes and there's enough starch in my potatoes to thicken the sauce up. So we have that. We're going to add in beef broth. Oh, that looks great. Oh my gosh. Potatoes. And is this an all in Corn. one type of meal? Would you say? You it's know, it's it almost like you pot. don't need and, to have anything else. Moms love that. Uh -huh. You don't need anything else. We have to wash all the dishes <laughs> during these snow days, and I've washed a ton. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> Over these last days, we have tomatoes. I'm going to also add tomato sauce in. A lot of times people do beef broth, but I like a vegetable forward beef stew. Wow. And so um, this looks like yes. it's really fast also, like a really quick type of meal. It's how how so long from start quick. to finish? I mean, the only thing that, that takes the longest if you want it to get it to be really, really tender, and I would say for about an hour, if you're going to do it in a pot. Now, if you're going to do it in a crock pot, that's going to be an eight-hour jazz. And, but I love and the we fact, need food right now. Yeah, but I love the fact that you can just kind of put everything in there and then let it cook itself, you know? Yes, and you don't have to. You're not standing over a stove. <laughs> We're putting all of this together. I've added oregano, salt, pepper, and I'm stirring it around, tossing it around. Add a little bit more salt. And uh, is Put there the any meat on it? Is there any way that you prepare the meat in advance? Uh, do you buy them chopped up, or do you kind of get it, cut it yourself? And is there anything you do overnight? Well, they have. Some, you, you can find it in Kroger where they have like chopped chunks, but because of the situation that we're going yeah. through now where people are not getting deliveries, I got a chuck roast, cut it up into chunks that we would like, the size we like. You can make it smaller, of course. You can marinate it, but you don't have to do all of that. This is something that you can do in a flash. Put a lid on it or in the morning, let it simmer, make that cornbread. Don't forget the cornbread. Love it. Any and, tips there? And sit it and forget it. Any tips with the cornbread to keep it moist? You know what? A lot of butter, buttermilk, and don't ever forget it. That's the tip. <laughs> don't ever be without cornbread in the South. <laughs> All right. And, that's the and shout out to Applebee's. That's where I met my first love, my, my last love. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. wait. Ooh, yes. that sounded really spicy. What do you mean? Oh, your yes. last. Okay, your my last, your final. My husband and I had our first blind date at Applebee's. Stop. <laughs> and so what did you eat? That was do you 20 remember? years ago. Do you remember the, the what you had? That's just, it's just I had interesting. Steak and, steak and shrimp. And it was like some garlic mashed potatoes. That's what I had. I wasn't supposed to eat that day. I was supposed to just have a drink and then get out of there. Me and my girlfriend were there on a double date oh, with him wow. and his cousin. Oh, and my goodness. And she's then like, you we're did. just going to have a drink and we're going to get out of here. Yeah. See, and that's why you guys are going to have to get that little special <laughs> that Corey Ventura was telling about, uh, that date night special. $200 for the whole year. All right. Or...
yeah. you can just make something at home or replicate it <laughs> make do it home that is great and you know what i know those leftovers are amazing so um what are your hours over at perch 74. we're open monday through friday from eight to two okay eight to two so it's an early deal yes we do breakfast and lunch Okay, breakfast and lunch. That's good to know. Um, and I, you know, I noticed the salad, so I'm really excited about that. Yeah. All right. Best cob salad, according to Zanetta. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. That beef stew looks so delicious. I am starving, and I know everyone else is at home. Thank you so much, Chef Regan.